Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about true positive rate and uh, false positive rate. Basically, these are the uh, metrics in uh, anomaly detection matrices. So basically, anomaly detection is a critical task where the goal is to identify uh, rare events or outliers in a data set. And uh, we are going to have a look on it with the help of an example and real world application so that you are going to get the topic easily and very, very uh, just in a simple steps, right? So do subscribe the channel, like the video and guys stay tuned for more such lectures in future as well. So let's begin with this lecture as of now. Uh, basically, evaluation metrics for anomaly detection models differ from traditional classification metrics like uh, we have discussed in the previous lectures like uh, root mean squared error or uh, uh, right or uh, minimum mean square method or uh, uh, mean absolute error or uh, mean uh, absolute percentage error right and uh, many other matrices that we have discussed right so uh, because here the nature of the task is usually we need to deal with imbalanced data set where anomalies are rare compared to the normal instances, right? Two key metrics used in evaluation of anomaly detection that is true positive rate and false positive rate. So what exactly the importance of this? Basically true positive rate helps to maximize the uh, anomaly detection to ensure as many anomalies as many possible in the data set, right? It is very crucial for anomaly detection. And if we talk about false positive rate, then for minimizing false positive, rate, it is also equally important to avoid unnecessary alarms and maintain the credibility of the anomaly detection system, right? So we have already discussed about that. What is called as true positive, true positive is uh, if model is predicting anything as a positive and it is by default, it is a positive that is true positive. And what is false positive uh, model is going to predict it as a positive, but originally it is false means false things predicted as a true is called as false positive, right? So in previous lecture, when we have discussed about classification metrics like accuracy, F1 score and uh, recall, we have discussed these things now. If we focus on true positive rate, it is also known as sensitivity or recall. It basically measures the proportion of actual positives or anomalies that are correctly identified as such the model. That is true positive divided by actual positives, whatever are the actual positives. If we are going to calculate it like true positive rate is true positives divided by actual positives. Whereas false positive rate measures proportion of actual negatives that is normal instances that are incorrectly identified as a positive by the, mon by the model, right? That is false positive divided by actual negatives means let's say if we talk about this terminology in uh, medicines, medical then if any patient goes in by default, they are saying that this patient is having that particular disease one, but originally that person is not have any disease. That person is completely okay, but still they are predicting that it is have some kind of disease that is called as false positives, right? Such kind of anomalies in the model, we can detect with the help of this matrices, right? So false positive rate is false positive rate is false positive divided by actual negatives. Basically it is not actual. It is negative means it is not have any kind of disease, but they are predicting it as a, that, that person have disease, right? So basically it's just like that. It's just like that, right? Okay. Now, uh, if you go with the use cases, then true positive rate and false positive rates are crucial for evaluating the performance of anomaly detection models, especially in scenarios where detecting anomalies accurately while minimizing false alarms or false positives is important, right? Okay. So basically let's do with some examples. Suppose we have an anomaly detection model that identifies fraudulent transactions among legitimate transactions. So we need to figure out how many transactions are fraudulent transaction and how many are legitimate transactions. So let's consider the following outcome based on the models predictions compared to the actual levels. So actual levels are total transactions are 100 out of which anomalies means fraudulent transactions are 5 
and normal transactions are 95 right so basically five are fraudulent transaction these are called, going to be called as actual positives right these are our actual positives that is five and normal transactions are 95 that is actual negatives they are normal they are normal instances these are normal instances right okay and these are anomalies now out of model prediction so model is predicting that four are correctly identified so out of these five four are correctly identified that they are fraudulent transaction that is called as true positive they are originally fraudulent transaction and model is also predicting them as a fraudulent that is true positive false positives are six what does that mean that these six transactions are the transactions which are not fraudulent they are normal transactions in which in this particular domain out of this 95 they are predicting six transactions that are fraudulent but originally they are not fraudulent that is false positives what are true negatives they are predicting 89 transactions as a normal transaction so out of this 95 89 are predicted as a correctly normal transactions that is true negatives because by default they are normal and what are false negative one transaction which is originally fraudulent but model is predicting that it is not a fraudulent obviously in the anomaly four are predicted as a true positive so out of one one which is left it is predicting it is not a fraudulent still it is a fraudulent that is false negative predicting fraudulent as a non-fraudulent right okay so what is true positive rate in this case true positive rate is true positive rate is actual true positives how many true positives are there so true positive predicted by model is four that is four divided by actual positives how many actual positives five transactions are actual positives right or not that is nothing but 0 0.8 that is 80 percent so what is the interpretation this model is correctly identifying 80 percent of actual fraudulent transactions so if we are going to fit that model in any banking industry it will give us 80 percent accuracy over fraudulent transactions this could be the conclusion now what is false positive rate the false positive rate is what are false positives so what are false positives you can see here false positives are six so six divided by actual normals actual actual norms actual that is normal transactions are 95 so six divided by 95 that is approximately equal to 6.3 percent it means that model is incorrectly flagged 6.3 of normal transactions as a fraudulent transaction means this 6.3 percent transactions are not for not fraudulent transactions but still model is predicting them that they are fraudulent that is interpretation of false positive it means 6.3 percent are false fraudulent 6.3 percent are false positive rate in this model right so what is the interpretation of true positive rate and false positive rate that high true positive rate which is closer to one which is closer to one that is here you can see 80 percent that is 0 0.8 which is closer to one which is closer to one right so it indicates that model is effective at identifying anomalies means model is effectively identifying the anomalies that is fraudulent transactions among actual anomalies which is closer to one but if your uh, low FPR that is false positive rate if it is closer to zero which is going to indicate that model is not generating many false alarms so you can see that we are having 6.3 percent so 6.3 is 0 0.6 uh, 6.3 percent is 0 0.063 0 0.063 that is low low this is false positive rate is low so what does that mean the model is okay actually it is you can say that moderately okay it is not it is generating the false alarms but not that much not that much right means okay you can say that this model is effective in identifying anomalies so flagging normal transactions as anomalies is only 0 0.063 which is closer to zero means not generating that much right if it is closer to one if false positive rate is high if false positive rate high means model is not okay and if true positive rate is low model is not okay so what we need we need true positive rate high that is model is okay and we need false positive rate is low then we can say that model is okay but if we talk in the reverse 
if the model is having true positive rate lower it means that model is not okay and if model is having false positive rate very much higher then also model is not okay so these are the cases where model is going to be uh, considered as a not perfect or it is not okay but this condition is going to be considered as a model is okay right so this is the existence of true positive rate and false positive rate which is going to be considered under anomaly detection so i hope you understood the importance of this anomaly detection matrix right okay so stay tuned for more such lectures have a very nice day guys jai hind jai bharat